A new study out of California has found that humans and sharks come in close contact more often than anyone thought. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres is live in the studio with a closer look. Good morning, Rich and Taylor. Scientists at California State University Long Beach used drones to track shark encounters during a two-year period. The study used 1,500 drone flights to track encounters. The study found that juvenile great white sharks come close to swimmers and surfers without anyone really noticing. Just because we don't see them doesn't mean that they're not there. According to the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy, over the past decade, Cape Cod has emerged as the only known place in the Northwest Atlantic where white sharks aggregate. According to their tra tagging data, they know that peak white shark activity along the coast of Cape Cod occurs from the summer through the fall. In this region, white shark White sharks hunt for seals in nearshore waters, which is why the Conservancy advises recreational water users to avoid areas where seals are present. While the risk of being attacked by a shark is rare, it's important to practice caution. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> rare. But if it ever happens, what should you do if you encounter a shark? Exactly. Well, you don't want to panic. I know that your immediate thought is like, oh my gosh, there's a shark in front of me. But you want to calm down. You want to move slowly away as you're swimming keep eye contact with the shark and if they become aggressive well you're gonna have to defend yourself in some way but that's definitely gonna be a difficult uh, battle <laughs> <No doubt. laughs> thanks Melissa thanks. thank you